so today I'm getting ready so I am going to be doing my hair today I'm gonna to be doing a slick back ponytail so I'm gonna show you guys how I do that I'm gonna do my makeup and just talk to you about life and what's going on and just about whatever comes to mind okay the first thing I want to talk about um, I guess let me bring this up so discipline my roommate she does this thing where she like asks people what like their word of the year is i guess what they want to focus on and um after a lot of reflecting and thinking about what mine is i realized that mine is discipline that's something that i really 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 want to work on this year because i find that everything that is not going the way that i want it to in my life is failing not failing that's a strong word but is not progressing due to my lack of discipline everything comes down to discipline for me my youtube career I'm not disciplined enough to get the content out that I want to. Um, the fact that I haven't applied to school yet when I want to go to school, yeah, update, I want to go to school. Um, discipline. I have not had the discipline to sit down, do my research, figure it out, get what I need to get done. Finding a new job, discipline. I haven't had the discipline to go apply, make my resume, do all those things. Why is it so difficult? I'm sorry, I know words are very powerful, so I don't wanna say things like, why is it so difficult? Because it doesn't have to be difficult. I'm giving it that energy. Why the fuck is it so difficult? I don't know why I've been like struggling with it as of late, as of late. When have I ever said that? Um, let me do this part one second. Yeah, I don't know why I've been struggling with it so much, um, but if I'm being real with you, I have. like. I've had the creative drive. I've had a bit of motivation. I just haven't had the discipline. That's what I feel like I'm missing lately. It's discipline to be like, let me get up early. Let me get this done. Let me, you know, every part of my life, like I wanna have my spiritual routines going the way that I used to. Discipline. I wanna wake up early and get my ass out of bed in the morning. Discipline. I wanna eat better. Discipline. I wanna find a better job. Discipline. It all comes down to discipline, baby. I don't know what it is that I'm doing and why I'm neglecting my needs so much, but it's discipline. Can someone tell me why it can be so difficult? Does anybody have the answer? I had a friend that used to get up at five o'clock in the morning, journal, set intentions, do yoga, work out, eat vegan, drink fucking 17,000 liters of water in one day get her work done, take meetings, do all the things. And she was one of the most disciplined people that I know. And I remember asking her how she did it one day and she was like, if I don't do it for myself, who's gonna do it? And I was like, you know what? It's so simple, but it's so true. Like no one can, can be disciplined for us. No one can take these actions for us. It's all on us. And if we don't do it, we just let ourselves down. And ever since then, I thought that would be like that click that just, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. But man, is it, is it, is it not that easy? It's not as easy as I thought it might be. I don't have the answers yet, but just know that I'm working on that. And when I figure it out, you better believe I'm bringing you the best fucking video you've ever seen in your life. When I find the, the code, the little cheat code to discipline, just know I got you. And if you have the cheat code, please let me know. I've seen so many videos on it. This one video just went viral by this girl. and. The title and everything and the fact that it went viral was like, oh my god, my sign, I need to see this. It, great creator, great creator, but it didn't do anything for me. I don't know what I need, but I need something. I need, I know what I need, I need this one. <laughs> Anyways, how's everybody doing? I'm gonna put my glasses on because I can't see and I'm trying to lay my edges, but... Ah, oh, these glasses, like they're so crooked, look at how crooked they are. Damn, this is not a look. I took a much needed break. I took a lot of time to rest um, from like everything. And it felt really, really good. Um, I've been working a job for a while. I can't remember if I've talked about what I do yet, but um, I'm working at a members only lounge, which is pretty cool because you meet a lot of cool people, a lot of rich people, a lot of rich people and it's been fun i've made a lot of connections i've made some friends that has been really nice you know the co-workers are awesome but man do i dislike the management do i ever dislike the management they are just i don't know i don't want to be that person but sometimes i feel like they're racist and it's starting to get to me because i'm like what am i doing there you know the money is pretty decent when it's decent. Like, money can be really good there. But 
the money can be really good there but at what cost you know also um it's slow season right now and man <laughs> is it uh isn't it slow season i'm getting annoyed now because i'm like what am i really doing here you know what i mean I feel like undervalued and I'm not the only one that feels this way. Almost everyone I know at the job is actually applying to new places of work um, because they just mistreat so many of their employees. Thankfully, I'm not mistreated, but I'm definitely not treated well. You know what I mean? But like also like the bar is low if I'm saying that because like what does that even mean? What does that even mean? Oh my God, this is not a look on me. <laughs> this is what we're using today. This is my favorite ponytail actually. But she's expensive now, inflation, wow. Inflation is a crazy thing because this uh, ponytail used to cost me $13.99 about two months ago and now it costs $24.99. And it is not human hair. I actually think it's robbery what they're doing because I know this ponytail costs $1.71 to make so I don't really get it but yeah, my groceries are insane. I don't know if it's the same in the US but Canada, the food here is actually, it's so expensive. So working somewhere where they're not giving shifts and taking time off YouTube is definitely not something I wanna be continuing if I wanna keep up the current lifestyle that I live. So I feel like we're all just swimming, you know? We're all just staying afloat. And it is something that I'm just, kind of scares me because I'm like I want kids one day and to think that like things are just gonna get more expensive and life's gonna get more expensive and you know it's like what's gonna happen to my children how are they gonna survive not even in the sense of like how am I gonna help them survive it's more just like their generation when they grow up how are they gonna survive in this world and get by on their own when things are going to absolute shit not to get dark let's let's get into a lighter topic why don't we come on let's go do my makeup let's go Hey man, so I did switch my room around, so things might look a little different. I don't know if you notice it. Basic, hello. Hi, good morning. He's been sleeping for a while, so he just wants to, oh, what's in your eye? Here, baby. All right, let's switch the topic. So I wanna talk about getting out of your comfort zone. Um, so today, something that I'm getting ready for, well, two things. One, I'm getting ready to film. Two, I'm getting ready to hang out with two people today. I know, social butterfly, aren't I? Ooh, new foundation I'm using now. I'm using Dior instead of Fenty. Um, it's lovely and it smells delicious. Um, anyway, so I have two plans today and um, I'm gonna be seeing a friend. She initially was like more of a party friend um, that I would like hang out with to like meet up at events or just like, we kind of like low-key worked together but didn't because we weren't really making money, but we did work together, I'd say. Um, and then we've just like kind of transitioned our friendship into like an actual friendship, which I like, which is nice. Like we do more wholesome shit. Anyways, she's someone that I wouldn't have met if I didn't put myself out of my comfort zone. And the second person that I'm meeting up with is actually somebody that I've never met before. Um, so he is a very talented content creator on TikTok. And he makes, well, and Instagram. Um, and he makes, amazing content especially his instagram content it's just like it's just so good you know like he's just so on top of it he posts consistently he books out studios to take his content seriously he like tags every brand he posts all the time he makes reels he takes photos he takes his tripod out and like goes and shoots by himself like my socially anxious ass has suffered in the past doing that um so i reached out to him online because we follow each other we're like mutuals we know a lot of the same people because we're from the same city we follow each other we always comment on each other's stuff so i finally just like was like you know what fuck it like i want to pick his brain how does he have all this motivation and drive and how is he so good at what he does you know like I just, I wanted to pick his brain, so I messaged him. And I was like, hey, like, I really love your content. I see what you're doing. I really fuck with your drive. Like, you're really good at what you do. How do you feel about meeting up for a drink or something and just like having a conversation? I was like, I'd love to pick your brain on your process, your creative process and how you go about your content creation. And he was so nice and open about it. He was like, yeah, like, I love your content too, da 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 And was just like, <laughs> <laughs> it was just like so down so I was like okay cool I'll make the reso and let's meet up next Thursday so it's now next Thursday 
and we got plans. So we're gonna be meeting up at this place downtown, this, this really beautiful new bar that we've both been trying to check out. And um, I'm going content ready just in case I get a really big motivation. I'm like, yeah, let me make a video now, you know what I mean? Um, but I'm also filming, but I actually don't care to get content out of the meetup. Like I genuinely just wanna connect and just talk. And I always like to meet with content creators and just see what they're all about. Um, sometimes it doesn't go that well because some of them are very shallow and some of them are really nice and I get good energy off of him. So I'm not there to like make a TikTok or anything like that. I'm there to have a conversation and hopefully make a new friend. We'll see how it goes. So. Get out of your comfort zone. And if there's somebody that you see that's doing what you want, don't be shy, just reach out to them because a lot of people are more open than you think and they're actually just waiting for people to talk to. So you you never know. I have so many friends that I've met through people reaching out to me and being like, I really love your content. I'm from this, I'm from the same city as you, like blah, 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 blah. And I've been like, yeah, let's meet up. Like I have like five friends like that, that I, I genuinely have real friendships now to this day for years because they reached out to me and we had a conversation. Now look, we're besties. I'm drinking a London Fog Tea Latte in case anyone's wondering. Shy, do you want some? No, I'm just kidding. I would never share a drink with my cat. If any of you do that, you're foul and I'm judging you. So I redid my room and I did this because, as I mentioned, I've been struggling with um, motivation lately. And so I was like, maybe it has something to do with the feng shui. Do I know anything about feng shui? No, I don't. Did I look it up? No. <laughs> I just thought the energy ain't flowing. Let me let me do something. So I moved my whole room around at like eight o'clock at night randomly. Like I just got this burst of energy and I was like, I'm doing it. And I moved everything. Why are you staring at me? Um, and I moved everything. And my room low key doesn't really make the most sense. Like it's a weird layout. But the thing is I have this series on my channel, the Zodiac series on my other one that has been sitting on the hard drive for five months or so. And people keep asking me, Ashley, are you dropping this series? Ashley, are you dropping this series? And I'm like, yeah, I am. I just don't know when. And the reason why I haven't dropped the series is actually because my desk was in a corner facing a closet in the darkest corner of my room. And I couldn't bring myself to sit at that computer for more than two hours at a time because it was so depressing and so dark and so isolating. So I would be on my computer and I would just get off. I'd be on my computer, get off. That actually has a lot to do with why I haven't been posting because I just couldn't find a workflow in that corner of my room. So I was like, fuck it, let me move everything around. So I moved everything around and now my corner is facing, my corner, and now my desk is facing a window. So now that my desk is facing a window, I already feel like I wanna actually sit at my computer desk. I've been editing other stuff. I just haven't gotten to that yet, but just wait, it's, it's coming, it's coming, I promise. Um, but for now, I just wanna get some content up on Ashley Flores TV. It's my favorite blush, it's by Merit Beauty. Um, it's very subtle. <laughs> what I do with it is I just put it on first and then I add like a powdered blush over top of it because this helps the powdered blush actually stay on for longer because this is a cream one. Who is calling me? Isn't that pretty? Oh, I forgot to put, um, baking powder on. Anyways, I just want to talk about this video that I saw by Hindsight because if you don't watch Hindsight, A, what the fuck are you doing? You need to go watch it. Um, but B, you might not have heard this gem, so I'd like to pass it along to the people who have not seen him. Um, he was talking about motivation and like I said, it's something that I've been lacking, motivation and discipline, you know. He was talking about motivation and he was saying that he's someone who likes to chill hard. He's like, Sometimes I just get into this chill mode and I just kind of get stuck in it. He's like, I'm a professional procrastinator. And I was like, please, you are speaking my language. He was basically saying like, sometimes you can't wait to feel motivated because it's not gonna come. He's like, you could be waiting forever or something along the lines of that. He's like, you just gotta do what you gotta do and the motivation will kick in like 30% along the way. So it's like me. Today, I won't lie, like I didn't wake up feeling like filming. I actually didn't want to. But I was like, let me just get up and start. And now that I've started, um, I feel so much better. Like the whole initial process of like washing my hair, getting in the shower, charging the camera battery, like planning out my videos was all not torture, but I wasn't like not enjoying that part of the process. I was just like, ugh, I just wanna go back to my bed or just do my makeup and go out for drinks already. Like I wasn't really feeling it. Um, but now that I'm in it and I'm filming and my cat's beside me and the light is all cute and pink and I'm doing my makeup and the ring light's shining on me, I'm enjoying this. I'm having a good time and 
the motivation has kicked in. I'm gonna finish this video, I'm gonna film another one, and I'm gonna film another one, and then I'm gonna film another one. And he was right, because sometimes you don't feel like doing it, but you just have to do it, and the motivation will kick in 30% of the way. So just get up and do what you need to do, because no one's gonna force you, you know? You, you just, you have to do it. Give me a second. And it sucks because I understand like sometimes you feel depressed and you're like, ah, oh, I don't have the motivation, I don't have the energy. And I get it, trust me. If anybody gets it, it's me. My hands are so ashy right now. If anybody gets it, it's me. Um, I have been in a rut for so long and I think I'm crawling out of it. I think I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I was in a tunnel and it was black and I was walking through that tunnel and I was like, not seeing the light so i was like i don't know how much longer this tunnel is i can turn around but i don't know how far point a is where i can keep going but i also don't know how far point b is but i do know that there is light at the end of point b so why should i go back to point a you know what i mean um this is like an analogy that i heard lauren london kind of refer to in an interview with angie martinez it was really beautifully said um so what i'm trying to say is like I was in this rut, in this tunnel for a long time and I didn't know when I would get out and I feel like I'm seeing the light and I'm like, oh, yes, loving content creation is a thing that has existed in my life and it is a thing that can come back. Motivation is a thing that's existed in my life and it is a thing that can come back and I've been feeling like it's never going to return and it is. Um, so I'm feeling uh, very motivated in the sense that I am getting that spark back and maybe that love back for creating content and making YouTube videos and being present online. But I also do have other goals and I think that achieving those other goals might require an education um, or the networks and communities that come with education, that come with being in co-op at school or attending seminars at school or, you know, being in a classroom. Um, and that's okay. So I actually, I think I'm going back. Random side note, this fluff up brow wax by Benefit is so good. My roommate worked at Sephora for like 10 seconds and um, she got like those gratis bags, those things where you get like a bunch of free shit and uh, she didn't like it. Don't know why, but I'm so happy she did because man, do I love this thing. It's so good. It's one of those like eyebrow waxes that allow you to lay down your brows, but when you put the product on after, it doesn't like slip and slide everywhere or get greasy. It actually still sticks to your brow. So definitely recommend it, 10 out of 10. Love it, so good. You just have to let it dry for a second and then you're good to put it on. So again, this look today is for dinner and drinks, but I don't know if dinner's happening because it's three and I have heard nothing from my homie. You know, this is a ColourPop lipstick from 2016. I just thought I'd share that with you. Remember the liquid lipstick era? Yeah, it's from then. Shy, what do you think? Does mommy look good? Does mommy look good? I'm kidding. I do not talk to him in a baby voice. Actually, sometimes I do in secret, but like no one's around. Like I'll be like, oh, my little muffin. But I don't, I don't do too much because I just think that's weird. I'm not a baby talking kind of gal. But you know what? Ask me when I have a baby. Maybe I'll start doing it. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like and share. Um, yeah, this was fun. I'm happy to be back. I'm going to be filming a couple videos. Right? I can't stop looking at myself. Like I, I barely ever wear makeup. So right now I'm like, whoa, what the fuck is that? Um, what was I saying? Yeah, if you guys like this video, thumbs up. They help me so much. So I always really appreciate them. Like, they help so much. You like your favorite content creators videos, please please like their videos and mine or maybe i'm the favorite like my videos yeah i guess that's it i'll see you next time bye